How to install Android 12 Beta 3 from the Google Pixel 4a on the Redmi K40, the Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Android 12 Beta 3 from the Google Pixel 4a on the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you of course do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Next up, another super critical and super important prerequisite is that you need to be on the stable build of Xiaomi EU. Again, you need to be on the stable build of Xiaomi EU for you to install this build. Of course, how to unlock the bootloader, how to install Xiaomi EU. Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next up, make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you do have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next up all the important resources like downloading the files telegram groups telegram channels fast boot drivers all those things are linked in the description of this video and of course you do need access to a computer for you to be installed android 12 beta 3 on your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 so here it is i do have the Poco F3 which right now is running MIUI 12.5.4 but this is Xiaomi EU so installing Xiaomi EU is a prerequisite for this specific build of Android 12 beta for the Poco F3 the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X whatever you want to call it next up we will go into settings and then you can go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so first of all turn off your device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold power and volume down press and hold power and volume down till you see this logo so this is the fast boot logo for xiaomi or redmi or poco and at this point we need to connect the usb cable so that we can connect our phone to the computer moving over to the computer so here it is i do have the folder which has the pixel beta and this is android 12 beta 3 do note this is a 7z file so you do need to extract it i have used winrar and already extracted it all you need to do is install winrar on your computer right click on the file and say extract to pixel underscore s or whatever the folder name is this is going to create another folder and if i go inside this folder you will notice here and i have linux tools win tools boot and all the files which you need the next thing we are going to do is we are going to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so if you are in windows go inside this folder when underscore tools and then tap on the address bar make sure everything is selected here and type in cmd and then press the enter key this is going to open command prompt here in type the command fast boot space devices which is going to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so there it is you can see the device is being detected in fast boot mode in case your devices is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed and of course drivers are linked in the description of this video next thing we are going to check is the current slot do note poco f3 mi 11x redmi k40 these are dynamic ab devices so the command to check your current slot is fast boot get var space current hyphen slot and once you have entered the command press the enter key so as you can see my current slot is a now in certain cases you might have your current slot as b which is absolutely normal and absolutely fine but the question is why are we checking the current slot 
let me explain so let me first close this command prompt and then we can go back to the main folder so here and you have your win tools linux tools and the files which you need to execute so the flasher this one windows is for windows and the one above is for linux and mac os so we are on windows and let us go ahead right click and say edit now super important thing to note over here is that if you see this right the line which i'm trying to highlight over here set active so this is setting the slot a as active now luckily for me i am on a slot but the issue here is that when it is flashing it is not flashing it to the a slot so when you execute this command fast boot flash boot if your active slot is b it is going to flash it to the b slot and similarly for vendor underscore boot also it will flash it to the b slot or whatever the active slot is so to avoid any issues i am going to make a small change over here and this is only for those who are on active slot as b if a users do it it will not make any difference but if your active slot is b then definitely make this change so let me add over here underscore a and that is for this one and similarly for vendor underscore boot as well i will add underscore a and then i am going to go ahead and save this file so this is making sure that we are flashing to a slot and then setting that a slot as active to avoid any issues for those of you whose active slot is set as b and of course if, if you want i can link this file in the description of the video do just let me know via a comment below next up as easy as just double clicking this file and you should be good to go so let us go ahead double click on this file and there it is you can see the process has started and of course right now it is sending to boot underscore a absolutely fine no issues over there now it is sending to vendor underscore boot underscore a sent without any issues you might get the invalid sparse file format at header magic that is also absolutely normal no need to panic just be patient and we are going to wait for the process of flashing the super image to start so there it is sending sparse super and that is one of seven so the process has started off flashing your super image all right so once flashing of super is done you might see finished total time as two to one or whatever it comes for you do not close the window right now it is still flashing the cursor is blinking so again do not try to close anything just wait patiently till it tells you that it is done so there it is as you can see after some time it erased the user data and then the device rebooted and now we are back into fast boot mode and on the screen you see press any key to exit so what are we going to do next we are going to say press any key i press the enter key and the command prompt window closed what do you do next do note the device is still in fast boot mode again no need to panic just stay calm and at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer so here it is the device has been disconnected from the computer still in fast boot mode press and hold press and hold power and volume up together and keep on holding it till the device reboots now once you see the poco logo and feel the vibration so poco logo and once i feel the vibration let go of the power button still pressing and holding volume up this will boot me into team win or twrp recovery now once i am in twrp i will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard there it is format data was done without any issues and next up go ahead and say reboot system and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f3 mi 11 x or the redmi k 40 which means we are booting into the android 12 beta on our device and of course the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient there it is in fact it did not take long welcome to your pixel let us go ahead and say start and then let me skip the initial setup real quick 
all right so here it is let us go into settings about phone of course will show as pixel a this is the port from pixel a and android version as you can see is mentioned as 12 build number is spb b3 so do note this is your android 12 beta 3 not 3.1 and the kernel they are using is perf kernel and there it is peeps that is how you install android 12 beta 3 from the pixel 4a on the Redmi K40, the Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.